Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is taking on the Grim Reaper after he reportedly invested in a startup that is trying to figure out how to reverse the aging process, according to a report in the MIT Tech Review. Alto Labs was founded early this year and is luring university scientists with high salaries of $1 million, 844,000 euros a year or more, and allows them free reign to research how cells age and how to reverse the process. And in today's video, we will be telling you how Jeff Bezos is planning to live forever. Without further ado, let's begin. Bezos, 57, resigned as CEO of Amazon in July and said he would spend more time this year on philanthropy and passion projects, like his space company Blue Origin. He made a short journey into space in July in the company's new Shepard rocket. But Bezos isn't the only plutocraft to reportedly invest in the company. Russian-Israeli billionaire Yuri Milner has reportedly invested too. Milner, 59, made his fortune after investing in Facebook, among other tech investments. While we all know that billionaires control a substantial amount of the world's wealth, in fact, current projections see the richest 1% controlling two-thirds of it by 2030. What they use their vast fortunes on may surprise you. When they aren't investing in space shuttles, underground hyperloops, and sprawling tech campuses, the super-rich are looking at a range of mind-blowing methods to increase their lifespan. We've dug into some of the strangest and most extravagant approaches billionaires have turned to in their quest for immortality, or at least get a few more years in than the rest of us. What is Altos Labs? The Altos executive team will be compromised of Hall Barron, MD, incoming CEO, Rick Klausner, MD, chief scientist and founder, Hans Bishop, president and founder, and Anne Lee Carlin, PhD, chief operating officer. Hal Barron is currently president of R&D and chief scientific officer of GSK and will join Altos as CEO and board co-chair effective August 1, 2022. Klausner was former director of the National Cancer Institute and entrepreneur. Bishop was former CEO of Grail and Juno Therapeutics, and Lee Carlin was former senior vice president at Genetech. Altos Labs will be initially based in the US in the San Francisco Bay Area and San Diego, and in the UK in Cambridge, with additional significant collaborations in Japan. Set within these geographies, activity will be organized across the Institutes of Science and the Institute of Medicine. The Altos Institutes of Science will pursue deep scientific questions and will integrate their findings into one collaborative research effort, whereas the Altos Institute of Medicine will capture knowledge generated about cell health and programming to develop transformative medicines. The three Altos Institutes of Science will be led by Juan Carlos Izpizua Bellamonte, PhD, Wolfreich, MD, and Peter Walter. PhD. Thor Grapple, PhD, will serve as global head of computational science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Prior to joining Altos, Izpizua Belamonte was professor and chair at the Salk Institute. Reich was director of the Babraham Institute and is an honorary professor at the University of Cambridge, and Walter was a professor of the University of California, San Francisco, UCFS, and investigator at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Grapple previously served as research lead at Google DeepMind and professor at University College London. Within the Institutes of Science, an extraordinary group of principal investigators PIs, will collaboratively pursue the many aspects of cell health and programming. The Altos team is packed with scientific leaders, including Morgan Levine, Stephen Horvath, Maria Lepton, and Nobel laureate Shinya Yamanaka, who will serve as senior scientific advisor to Altos without remuneration, overseeing research activities in Japan. I am deeply honored to have been offered this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to lead such a unique company with a transformative mission to reverse disease, said Barron. It's clear from work by Shinya Yamanaka and many others since his initial discoveries that cells have the ability to rejuvenate, resetting their epigenic clocks and erasing damage from a myriad of stressors. 
These insights, combined with major advances in a number of transformative technologies, inspired Altos to reimagine medical treatments where reversing disease for patients of any age is possible. Altos Labs plans to integrate the best features of academia and industry, from academia, the freedom to pursue the most challenging problems in biology, and from industry, the focus on shared mission, ability to foster deep collaborations, and the passion and commitment to transform science into medicines. Altos Bay Area Institute of Science will be led by Peter Walter, PhD, whose research has focused on developing molecular understanding of how cells control the quality of their proteins and organelles during homeostasis and stress. Across all aspects of Altos Labs will be a commitment to computational science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence with activities led by Thor Grapple, PhD. Grapple was most recently research lead at Google DeepMind and chair of machine learning at University College London and is one of the foremost minds on how to build more intelligent systems and agents that learn from experience. Who is working on the project? Spanish biologist Juan Carlos Izpizua Belamonte is set to join the company, the MIT report said. He is known for his research in mixing human and monkey embryos. Professor Steve Horvath is also said to be joining the team. He is the developer of a so-called biological clock that can measure humans' aging. Shinya Yamanaka, who shared a 2012 Nobel Prize for the discovery of reprogramming, will be an unpaid senior scientist and will chair the company's scientific advisory board. Although there are many hurdles to overcome, there is huge potential, Yamanaka told the MIT Technology Review. Manuel Serrano of the Institute for Research in Biomedicine in Barcelona, Spain, said the company would pay him five to ten times what he earns now. He confirmed to the MIT Technology Review he plans to join the Altos facility in Cambridge. The philosophy of Altos Labs is to do curiosity-driven research. This is what I know how to do and love to do, said Serrano. In this case, through a private company, we have the freedom to be bold and explore. In this way, it will rejuvenate me. Will we ever find the elixir of life? According to Serrano, Alto's first objective isn't making money at first. The aim is to understand rejuvenation, he told MIT. I would say the idea of having revenue in the future is there, but it's not the immediate goal. Altos is not the only secretive company looking into how to extend life. Calico Labs, a longevity company that was announced by Google co-founder Larry Page in 2013, is also on the same track. It too hired elite scientists with generous paychecks. But it's not clear how much progress the company has made to date. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, is it possible to live forever? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video!